what I fear is that we'll hear a lot worse in the near future. My name is James McCrary. I'm a professor of architecture at the Catholic University of America, where I'm the director of traditional and classical architecture. The establishment of uh, architectural restoration and design in Europe and in the United States will come out and promise us that none of this can be done this way any longer, and we'll have all sorts of uh, unintelligent proposals for the, quote, restoration, unquote, of Notre Dame Cathedral using steel, using glass, and using modernist idioms in architecture for a building that is entirely inappropriate. Hopefully, the leadership in France will, and I expect that the leadership in France will know the stupidity of this, uh, of this sort of proposal, but nonetheless, I promise you, it will be forthcoming. The best recordation, the best example of how to build like they built at Notre Dame is Notre Dame. And I think that's the important thing is that, is that we make sure that we keep these magnificent buildings because first and foremost of their magnificent uh, Christian heritage and the contribution that they make to the culture of their countries. They are instructions to and inspirations for craftsmen to make uh, magnificent, magnificent work uh, and really elevate their own games in the, to the glory of God. Another thing that might be proposed is that anything that is not original material will have to be clearly identifiable as a non-original material. So they'll intentionally, well, they'll propose to intentionally contrast the repair work with the original fabric. This yields a complete mess. It's heinous. There's the danger of Winchester Cathedral, the great west window at Winchester, uh, where the Winchester was bombed by the, by the Germans. But Winchester was bombed, and then what they did is they went and got all the stained glass from the windows, picked it off the floor, and then put it up like a like a abstract art mosaic. It's like they broke the, the cookie jar, and they, they glued it back together before Mom got home. And it's really bad. And so what you have now is a recordation, a celebration of the destruction of the window. They didn't do what was required to restore the original to its original state. The, the really great examples uh, to emulate are the magnificent restorations and reconstructions of damaged and, in fact, destroyed cathedrals, uh, especially in Dresden, uh, and also Monte Cassino. There's an example of a, mag a magnificent monastery that is completely rebuilt and restored. But the great church uh, in Dresden, only recently rebuilt, is a completely heroic effort on the part of the leaders of the town, supported by the people of Dresden and Germany. Let's be optimistic about uh, the state of craftsmanship and know-how, if you will, uh, in the world today. One of the uh, sort of often repeated and almost always incorrect statements is, well, it's impossible to build like this anymore, and that no one can be found to lay stone in this manner any longer. And the answer to that is, is just, in, is that it's false. It, it's a false premise. Uh, there are willing and capable craftsmen, stonemasons, uh, blacksmiths, uh, stained glass makers, uh, carpenters, uh, and construction men and women of, of, of all abilities who can, be, um, who can be taught, educated, and shown these methods again. The best teachers are the buildings themselves.